two Iowans are extra thankful this Thanksgiving after spending the last year battling cancer. And little did they know their life-threatening diagnosis would turn into a lifelong friendship. Miracles. Two miracles right here. Absolutely. Rick Huffman and Julie Schmidt are thankful to be here after receiving the same news nearly one year ago. My diagnosis date was December 8th with my colonoscopy. November 13th. November 13th, I can remember that day. Like a book. When doctors diagnosed them with rectal cancer, their lives forever changed. Treatments, 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 doctor's appointments, lab work. It was like, that's what you live by. They were both going to St. Anthony Regional Hospital in Carroll. I felt like I lived at the cancer center. They had the same doctors and similar treatment plans, causing their paths to cross. We met in the infusion center and everything just seemed to be, they scheduled us the same time, the same day, the same everything. And allowing them to connect. And you just compare Man, I feel like crap today. Yeah, I do too. How do you feel? Huh, so do I. They stayed in touch all throughout treatment and radiation. Towards the end there, we would just look at each other and I'd go, uh oh, she don't feel good. You don't even need to talk to each other. Mm -hmm. You know? I can tell by the look of them. And then came surgery. During the initial surgery, which I think was pretty tough on both of us, um, we would, there were some days, man, I didn't even want to get out of bed. Well, just because they shook everything around. And, and in rectal cancer, there's, there's usually a second operation to get things hooked back together. And by this point, they had become really close. They had become friends. And each of them independently asked me if they could have their surgery on the same day as the other one. Dr. Omar Coughlin and the rest of the medical team made that happen so Rick and Julie could recover together a connection they cherish as they went through this journey side by side. Somebody that really knows 100% what it feels like. I mean, family does good. But unless they've been in your shoes, it's a hard thing to feel. And he's been in the same shoes. So it's very nice to have somebody to walk in the same shoes as you together. And they're still together, now in remission. Cancer free, yes. Cancer free. Cancer free and forever bonded. Be a pretty cool Thanksgiving for us, I think. I know for me it will be, yeah. It would be better if I could eat, but. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, yes, very thankful. Yeah. Very thankful. Rick and Julie are sharing their story to remind people to get their colonoscopies. Yeah, so important. Mm -hmm. Great awareness. Wonderful story, Kaylin, Thank you. finding them and uh, sharing their story. Those are recommended uh, at age 45 or earlier if you're at a higher risk for this type of cancer. Talk to your doctor if you have any questions. Mm -hmm. And they use that struggle to really find the blessing and, and find each other. They'll have a, a bond forever now. Yeah, so. they sure will. Mm -hmm. Wonderful people.